to my channel good evening guys it's evening here and this is the dress that we'll be making okay but the applique that i will be using is different okay because my because of budgeting issues my clients got a different thing so i'm going to try and then make this possible i don't know how best i can make this possible but i think i would uh, do something about it because of the type of applique work okay so this is the type of applique that i got and it's not really possible but that's why i am a designer so i'm just going to if possible if i have to train certain things i'll just go ahead and train them to create the perfect neckline that she wants in this all right okay so let's just get straight into the video so guys the length of the fabric i have here is 57 inches okay and i need that about 59 inches of length okay so i'm going to be adding five inches to this because i'm going to need my starting line okay i'm going to start at about one inches from the upper part okay and to join the shoulder i need half inch okay and then also to join my um bottom part to the main fabric like what will be cut into the main fabric i need also half inches over there and the rest i'm going to trim out later okay so what i'm going to do is i'm i'm trying to smoothen out the edges here because it's not straight okay so i'm trying to cut it out to make sure that i have a straight edge to work with okay so after cutting this out the next thing i'm going to do is the rest of the fabric that i don't need i am going to be cutting that one out as well to join to my main fabric to give me the length that i desire okay so guys i'm done cutting out my fabric width and what i did was i measured from my client center back to the elbow okay and then when i did that i multiplied it by four all right so that is how come i got the whole of this fabric width okay so so in this case mine was 22.5 inches including and including my one inch a hemming allowance for the side okay so just multiply it by four and then you get your whole fabric width okay so the next thing is to cut the joining all right remember i said the length was not enough and so i'm going to be cutting and joining okay so i'm going to cut at about five inches okay for the joining all right so i'm going to fold this into two like that and i'm going to fold it into four okay so i'm going to use that center line as my starter line okay so remember i said from the center back to the elbow is 22 but in this case i have 29 inches all right so i am going to be cutting the excess off later all right so just go ahead and then fold this into four like i did previously and using this center line as my starter line i'm going to be marking five inches okay a marking five inches like that and after that i'll connect this with a straight rule all right my fabric is kind of slippery and stretchy okay so it's kind of difficult to work with so make sure that you always pin when you're working with this type of fabric okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this out right so what i'm cutting out right now i folded it into four and it's 29 inches of width and i only need 23 inches okay no i need 20 uh, two and a half inches of width not 23 inches not 23 inches i need 22 and a half inches so after joining this i'm going to trim the rest out okay so now i have my fabric like this i want to split it into two because it has the back and then the front panel okay 
So I'm going to split it into two and I'm going to join one to the front and the other one to the back, okay? So guys, I'm done splitting this into two and I have two pieces, okay, one for the front and the other for the back. Okay, so let's just go ahead and then take this to a machine and then join, okay, to the bottom part like that. But before that, we'll split the fabric open, okay, we'll split the fabric open because it's on fold, all right. So I'm just going to split it open and then we'll join the pieces that we cut out to the down part, okay? Not the top, the down, because the top will be visible and the down will not be visible. So it's always advisable to add that to the down part, okay? And if you want to do any joining, just do it at the down part, not the top, okay? So the next thing is to join our fabric that we cut out to the main fabric okay <music> So I'm just going to join this and I'm going to sew by using half an inch all the way through okay half inches okay and then when I'm done joining this, there will be an excess left since it's 29 inches. So I'm going to trim off the excess. So let's just take it to a machine and then do that. So guys, after joining this, the time is now to trim the excess off, okay? So trim off all your excesses and... The next thing is we are going to be folding this, all right. We're going to fold this and then pick out our neckline and our shoulder slope and the actual length of the fabric that the actual length of our dress. Okay, so I've tried to pin everything down and I folded this into four. Okay, so I'm just marking my starting line. Okay, like I said, I'm going to mark from one inch from the edge of the fabric, okay? Because it's kind of rough around that area. So I'm just going to mark one inch from there. And then the next thing is to mark my shoulder measurements like that. So I'm going to be marking seven inches for the shoulder measurement. That is half of the shoulder measurement. And then I'm going to continue with marking my center point to my elbow length plus half an inch for hemming okay so that's what i'm doing and then the next thing is i'm going to write from where the elbow length and then i'm going to mark my shoulder slope of one and a half inches around there okay and i'm going to connect this to where my shoulder ends okay from there to there like that okay so now that what i'm doing right now is not really visible but i was mark i was marking the back neckline which was um, one inch okay and the front neckline is as deep as five inches okay so i'm going to create the v like round like neckline it looks round and it looks v okay so i'm just going to create that like neckline for the front panel and then the back panel will just be 
half an a sorry one inch guys so i'm just like connecting and creating that thing like round like a neckline i don't know but you guys will see what i mean very soon okay so the next thing that i'm going to do is to connect my shoulder slope to the tip of my shoulder like that or the nape of my shoulder okay so i'm going to connect and end at where my shoulder stops okay <laughs> So guys the next thing is just to trim my shoulder slope and the starting line off okay because i won't be needing them anymore and then now the next thing is to cut out my neckline okay so i'm going to cut the back first sorry i blocked the camera sorry for that okay i'm cutting right now i'm cutting my back neckline okay so after cutting i separated it from the front okay now i'm going to bring out my front neckline but before that i'm just going to make my markings more prominent so that i'll be able to follow the the neck design that i want and then cut it out okay So I'll just go ahead and cut this out all right for the front neckline okay I made the front much more deeper than the back so that my client will be able to pass it through her head without any problems okay so this is how the front neck looks like and now the next thing is to join the shoulder all right so the back panel this is the front and I'm going to be joining by half an inch okay and I'll join the side too as well okay so join this by half an inch as well all right and when I'm done I have this stretchy fabric that I cut out all right I'm going to use that to tape down my neck after joining the shoulder okay i'm going to use that to tape out my neck all around all right so hey guys i'm done with the joining of the shoulder and the neck as well and this is how it looks for now so the next thing is i'll just go ahead and then press this down and after pressing it i'm just going to flip it over to the right side and then start applying my applique all right this is the applique that we iron okay so i'm just going to do my thing here so make sure that you watch me and what i'm doing okay <laughs> So guys as you can see i have done some trimmings okay i split some of the applique into half and then some three quarter and then some i used it in full okay so i'm doing this because i want to create that shape that is in the picture okay i want to create that desired neck that my client wants even though this is not the right applique to use right now it is the wrong applique to use right now but hey that is why 
I am a designer, so I'm going to make this happen, okay? So what I'm doing right now is placing things down, placing things in place and checking them. And then I'm pinning this down because I'm going to be ironing this, right? It has glue, so once I iron it, the glue will melt and then it will hold the fabric in place, okay? So I'm just trying to know how to come about uh, the design, all right? I'm really trying here, guys. I'm trying. It's not easy because I, at the end of the day, I did some trimmings and then small, big trimmings just to make sure that every place and everywhere was filled, all right? And I used some stones too as well. So let's just... um. Just keep watching me and what I'm doing, okay? Sorry, my my camera also couldn't capture the other part, but I think in the next scene, it will show at the bottom part what I have done over there as well, okay? <music> So guys as you can see i've trimmed out some little piece and i'm trying to fix it around the neck area so that it can close or it doesn't look too open okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to fix this in place and i'm going to pin it right so as you can see it now looks quite a bit normal all right so that is basically what i am doing I am cutting and I'm joining and I'm splitting things into two and I am drawing and I'm getting the neck design that I want but I forgot the first thing that guys you need to do before you place your applique on it when you don't have the right applique is to draw out your neck design with chalk okay so that was what I did. I drew out my neck design with chalk and then I am just placing them in place so that um, the, the applique does not go way out of the lines, okay, or the drawing that I've made. Alright, so that was my guide to getting the applique right, okay. So I drawed out my neck shape that I wanted. All right, and then I put the applique in place so that it doesn't eat into uh, the outside line. Okay, so guys, after putting everything in place, okay, I'm just going to iron this, all right, and make sure it holds a bit. And the next thing is, I'm going to remove the stones, all right, because it's making my ironing impossible all right so i'm going to remove the stones from each and every one of the applique and then later after i'm done ironing okay i'm just going to glue them back to the applique okay and then i'm going to be using some to decorate the neck area that is in front okay so after removing this i'll just flip it over and then iron this out all right so guys um, depending on the kind of iron you are using you need to keep pressing this until the glue sticks on the fabric all right or the applique sticks on the fabric all right so I pressed mine for at about um, 15 to 20 minutes before I could get my glue stuck on the fabric okay but if you have an iron that is very hot it will take less than 10 minutes to have it in place okay so what I did next was I removed my pins okay after it's stuck and then now I'm going to be applying the stones back 
to from where I took it, okay? So guys now after applying the stones and I have excess stones so I'm just going to use that to decorate the region that I feel is quite empty okay so I'm going to just use that to fill up that space like that and guys it came out very beautiful okay as a designer you always need to be creative you always need to think ahead all right and know what's best so that your client and yourself will be very happy at the end of the day so look at how beautiful it came out so the rest of the holes that i couldn't fill up i just cut a tiny piece of the appliques and i'm going to be using that to fill up the rest of the hole around the chest area like that and guys so as you can see it looks nice okay so I'm going to continue filling up the holes until I am satisfied with what I have all right so <music> Tada, we have a perfect neck line. All right, we've been able to successfully apply this applique. All right, so guys, the next thing I am going to do is I am going to be taking down my measurement. Okay, so but before that, let's just hand the bottom part of the okay, the dress. Right, so I'm going to be folding in a quarter and then in quarter like that. I'm going to sew all the way through and also do the same thing to the sides as well. Okay, so after that, I'm now going to be marking my vertical measurement that is from my shoulder to my bust, no shoulder to armhole, then to bust. So I'm going to be marking this is a free hand. All right, so it doesn't need to be too tight around the armhole, and because my client is not that um, big, normally I would give her six and a half inches or seven inches of armhole. But this time around, I am going to mark nine inches of armhole, and then from the shoulder to the bust is ten inches, shoulder to waist is sixteen, and shoulder to hip is twenty-four inches. Okay, then the full length of the dress all right so that is it now i'm going to transfer my measurement to the other side like that okay <laughs> so guys i went ahead to iron the center front like that so i'm going to be marking half an inch by placing half of the measurement on the right side and half of the measurement on the left side okay so that's my center line like that and i'm going to be placing half of my chest line plus some 1.5 inches of ease okay so i'm going to mark half of my chest line quarter on each side okay Hmm, guys pardon me today okay i have severe cold and i'm finding it really difficult to talk right now okay so please um pay attention to what i am doing all right and i hope that in my next tutorial i'll be fine so that i can can voice out really well for you guys to hear me out okay
but if it's if it's folded into four i am going to mark just a quarter inch all right so yeah the next thing that i'm going to do right now is to mark my hip okay so the hip okay well, i'm going to be marking just like that okay so this measurement has been divided into two so i'm just marking a quarter on that side and i'm going to mark a quarter so i'm just going to connect it freely to the down part okay <laughs> Also from the armhole mark, okay, I'm just going to connect it to meet the edge of the fabric like that. So I'm going to draw a straight line like that to meet the armhole line, okay. Sorry, my camera couldn't capture it well, but I believe that you know what I'm doing, okay. I'm just quickly marking or drawing the straight line that is to create the sleeve that I want all right from the ammo area to the edge of the fabric and I'm going to be doing the same thing to this side okay so this side was very clear so as at least you saw what I did okay all right so the next thing is to pin this down carefully all right pin this very well all right because the fabric moves around a lot you need to pin right on the stitch line okay pin right on the stitch line and then after pinning i'll just take this to my machine and i'm going to be sewing all right So I'm going to sew right from there, okay, and also from there to the down, okay. So guys, we are done with it. If you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to share it with your friends, alright, and also hit the like button, okay, and don't forget to subscribe as well. So let's just go ahead and put it on our mannequin so that you know what we did okay so guys this is how it looks on the mannequin and this is the back view okay yeah and also this is how it looks on the front and as you can see it looks really beautiful like extremely beautiful so if you find this tutorial helpful like i said Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, okay? And then also don't forget to smash the like button. And then please pass your comments on what you think about this tutorial. And I'm going to see you in my next tutorial. Bye.